my name is Rachel and I'll be your main anchor this week. Our first story is with Caleb on the mealtime mealy. Dozens of kids reported injuries when a food fight erupted Thursday afternoon and turned into a mealtime melee at Cranewood Elementary on Christine Avenue in Garfield Heights. Garfield Heights Fire Chief says the fight broke out between students in grades 5th through 8th grade and resulted in approximately 26 injuries and 8 students were taken to hospitals. Parents were notified of the situation as soon as it happened and that an investigation was underway. Carlet Lester, 13, suffered head injuries after being hit with an orange and falling into a brick wall. Additional security will also be at the school Friday while the incident remains under investigation. Are you getting excited for WrestleMania? What? You know, WWE. No, that stuff's fake. Are you getting excited for WrestleMania? What? Are you excited for WrestleMania? What's WrestleMania? Are you getting excited for WrestleMania? I don't know what that is. Are you getting excited for WrestleMania? Um, I'm sorry, no. <laughs> Are you getting excited for WrestleMania? Yay! Next up is sports with Justin Witten and Evan Williamson. Stop in baseball, it was Hayward versus Argento Oriana. It, despite Mitchell Brannick and Nick Norton getting home runs, they lost 2-4. to four. At WrestleMania 28, The Undertaker became 20-0 at WrestleMania after beating Triple H in a Hell in a Cell match. And The Rock beat John Cena. All that and more at WrestleMania 28. Based on the, we asked our viewers. Hayworth versus Ridgeview. Softball. Hayworth smoked them 11 to nothing. Hayworth versus Ridgeview. Baseball. Hayworth lost 1 to 7. In the girls track meet, Eureka got first, Hayworth got second, Warrenburg Latham got third, and El Paso got fourth. And Cornerstone got fifth. Boys track meet, Eureka got first, Warrenburg Latham got second, Hayworth got third, Central Catholic got fourth. El Paso got fifth, and Cornerstone got sixth. Despite not being a favorite at the opening of Peyton Manning's free agency, the Broncos swooped in and took the future Hall of Famer. Peyton moving into the AFC West could make the Broncos the team to beat in the West. Earlier, the Tennessee Titans were the favorites to get Peyton Manning by offering him a huge contract, but the Broncos matched it. Peyton's decision was then based on who had a better playbook. Peyton's move to the Broncos will come with some challenges, including a shaky receiving core, difficulty weather, and a brutal 2012 schedule. This has been HHS News. Thank you for watching.